on a new site. What's up, my people? A little retainable all action going in here. Just saw cut the black top ranged off the existing building. Saw cut it. I'm gonna dig down, put a crusher run base in, and put these blocks in. I think it's like 70 block, some caps. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, got the black top out, got my depth cut about 10 to 12 inches off the black top, and that's gonna give me an eight inch base. Everything's shot in with a laser. Now I'm gonna go get the crusher run, put it in and compact it. All right, crusher run is in to height, not compacted, shot it in with the laser. Now I'll compact it, then reshoot it. on site had torrential rainstorms all night got some more coming this afternoon so I just got the basin yesterday then I split out went to a different site so what I'm doing here is I got some concrete sand going down in three quarter inch just regular my stake pins set tip back just a little bit but dead level from there to there I'm gonna take my scree board scree to a three quarter inch half inch three quarter inch of uh padding that will help you lay that first course a lot of times i don't do that but in this case i'm doing it because it is easier all right we're just going to screed this off hold your pipe with your one hand this pipe yeah and then keep coming with it keep coming with the board see saw it back and forth and bring it right to your other hand yeah keep coming push Good. Set that there. That should give us about a half inch or three quarter padding. And like I said, it, it's not necessary, but it makes things a lot easier when you go to put that block first course in. Sand is going in. You always have a float with you. You can touch it all up. Take the highs and the lows. After you get your pins out, you can fill that. Just float around. The better you get this base, the better the blocks will be. All right, I got a string line. There's nothing straighter than a string line. That's what you use. I got those two mark, those two blocks set at the right height and elevation, and I just got them in parallel line with this string. So we're good to go to start laying. I set the string up at the 45 of the block here because it's the truest part of the block. This fracture face isn't so true, and this could be off, so that's your truest point. All right, first course is in, nice and straight. Tipping back just a touch, and dead straight. Like I said, use a string line, get it in, take your time, and uh, that's the most important course. Now this next course, we will cut a half block with the demo saw, put it in here, and then start. That way you are half bond, right here so the, the the full block will split and be perfect all right second course is going in and that goes in 10 times faster than the, the bottom one i cut my half block with the demo saw fit it nicely and the other ones just slide to it show you the next course as i start you could start keep starting this course it doesn't matter if you keep going but before that one runs out if you got a couple guys working with you once you got it set on the wall just bring it to the front lip and slide her down until she touches like so give it a tap make sure she's nice and tight there and that's how it is and now we're half bond again the next one will be a half here set your block here slide it across make sure it's in this lip because you see how it, each block catches a lip boom done all right, all the blocks are installed. We're gonna throw some stone and pipe in it now and these blocks get filled with stone. Um, anything higher than this, you would use GeoGrid. This doesn't call for GeoGrid because it's such a short wall. GeoGrid is what goes back into the bank. 
but as you see we'll have plenty of room for stone Let's give you a couple feet back here and there's our perforated pipe we're gonna put that in it's gonna stub out right up, up here and be good to go let's get the stone all right got a backfill with some stone in the back to hold that pipe So we're gonna fill the block. Let me know when it's buried. Now I'll fill the block a little bit. Go half and half. Fill the block and then uh, fill the pipe. Fill the block, fill the pipe. Number two round stone is what we're using for, for a wall. Great drainage stone. Just keep topping it off and uh, get these right full. Fill your back. All right, everything is backfilled, pipe installed. I'm gonna sweep all this off. So your caps could go on. We got corners to put on, which is here, which also get glued. I pinned it with rocks down there, and now we got some black top patch. Pipe is there nicely. All right, here's the black top patch. Let's take your float. You can see this stuff move. Look at that stuff move. Goes right down in. Pack it in. Lock that wall right in place. spot over here where I already floated it and it got hard right there so we're just taking this and letting her go in all right black top patch all in just swept the top for the caps we're gonna knock the caps out in the morning we'll be back back on site rained big time last night got the caps going in they're just uh they just set in just like the regular block and we'll glue them in after they got that lip you gotta finagle the corners and get them all we cut pieces the same width as the cap put them on like that and then you gotta cut this cap here put a notch in it so it slides over this one once you got your caps laid out half bond a lot of times like when you do radiuses and walls and stuff these caps will not break the joints so you really if you're on a straight wall like this you try to do the best you can sometimes it's three quarters sometimes it's half sometimes whatever it is what it is so this we put it butt tight right to that side this was our piece six and a quarter so this is our cap i cut it there but then you gotta cut right here to make that go down in that lip because they're not made for that so you just put a slit one-handed for you guys like so then this will set right in there like so boom all right all done all glued quick little video really not too much on a DIY but hopefully you got the gist all right guys on to the next one thumbs up like share subscribe take care